157 years ago, a 57-year-old widower and father of six picked up his pen and wrote two final verses to his poem entitled, I Heard the Bells on Christmas Day. This is the second to last verse that he wrote. It reads, And in despair I bowed my head. There is no peace on earth, I said. For hate is strong and mocks the song of peace on earth, good will to men. After all of these years that have gone by, there is still evidence of a lack of peace in our world. There are still people who are hurting, facing major health issues. Death has continued to take many dear ones from us this past year. And the hatred that we see in our lives right now, perhaps the strongest I've witnessed ever in my lifetime. And how I wish it was only across the proverbial political aisle. But the hatred fills our communities. It's found its way into our churches. I've heard some of the most disrespectful and hurtful words and actions against church leaders and servants just in this past year. And the anger is contagious, as it is caught even at times in my own heart. As John Lennon wrote, So this is Christmas. Yep. We're here, Lord, and what a mess we have. The last verse penned 157 years ago of that great poem is a reminder of a still and more powerful truth even after all of these years. We read, Then pealed the bells more loud and deep. God is not dead, nor doth he sleep. The wrong shall fail, the right prevail, with peace on earth, good will to men. See, the good news of Christmas is that death couldn't silence it. Hatred couldn't chase it away. This darkened world couldn't turn out the brightness of its star. Gloom and grief didn't stop the heavens from erupting with a heavenly song. And not even the most powerful people on the earth could manipulate Christmas to be under their control. Because Christmas came to us. Emmanuel, God with us. So great is his love for you that no angel, no demon, no height or depth could keep him away from saving you. And his promises are 100% true. He never fails. The wrong did fail and the right did prevail in that Christmas as our Jesus, our Savior, proved at the cross and the grave. Believe actively these words this Christmas and say them out loud, sing them even louder, share them with all you see, and join together from wherever you are to bend the knee and worship the King born to us this day. Merry Christmas, everyone. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, so it is Christmas. This is Christmas. And into a dark and troubled world, you came. You didn't turn your back to this world, but you entered into this world, becoming human flesh and being one among us. And in your flesh, you took that sin, you took it all, the penalty and the punishment to the cross. And it started with your entrance into this world. We thank you on this Christmas for what it means. It is the beginning of a great story of a life that we were able to witness and see as you walked among us, as you gave to us eternal life, as you taught us the truth that light is greater than darkness, love stronger than hate, and your salvation greater than death. Thank you that we have today to say Merry Christmas. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.